Hey everyone, this video is an introduction to the Customer uh, Manager for Outlook. Um, as you know, B uh, Business Contact Manager, or BCM, has been axed off by Microsoft. Uh, they no longer provide any support for it, uh, let alone they just kind of want to move away from it since they wanted to create a different product that integrates with the Office 365 family. Um, and is kind of a low-powered version of Dynamics 365. So it has been a while uh, that I've been waiting for this to be provisioned, and it finally has. You'll see the icon right here for Customer Manager. Um, so Customer Manager is basically a kind of skimmed-down version of, of uh, BCM, but it, it appears that it has the one feature that BCM doesn't, which is you can share contacts in the cloud. So you still have the ability to organize your deals, your opportunities. Um, you have the ability to uh, manage all your contacts under a specific account and be organized and have perfect communication history. Um, but everything is nested within the Office 365 uh, suite. So with that said, you have to have Office 365 subscription. Um, you'll see here let me click on uh, a home and then uh, my office account. I have uh, uh, three different subscriptions. I have uh, a E3, a E5, and a premium. If you're on a premium, this was probably rolled out to you already. You'll see here that I'm on version 1702, Office Insider Fast. Um, you don't have to be on the Fast channel. You just have to be provisioned to receive updates first, uh, being uh, on the current channel for current updates. Um, so if you have an administrator, you could ask him to make sure that you're uh, set to be on the um, Office Insider current fast track, uh, fast channel for updates. Make sure that you update your um, Outlook. Make sure you have the latest version. And when Microsoft provisions um, Customer Manager, the icon will just appear. No installation is required um, on all the 365 um, uh, subscriptions I, I'm the administrator of. I've never had to install anything. It just kind of appeared. It just took a while for it to appear because they happen to be rolling out, rolling it out slowly. So once you click on the icon, you'll be given a prompt to sign in. Once you sign in, you'll see a wizard. It's going to take about, uh, I don't know, give or take six minutes, five minutes to set up the company. It is nested in the cloud. Um, no longer like BCM, we're going to be using a, a, a small uh, uh, SQL server, which uh, BCM came with. It actually installed a small instance of SQL server um, and used to connect to it locally, and you could share access with your peers. Now everything is on the cloud. Why? Because you're using Office 365, which is a cloud-based or cloud-driven um, system. It's very, very cool, and it's uh, I'm very excited about this. So I've already went and configured it, and you see the button over here for Customer Manager. So creating a business contact is very simple. Once you receive an email from anybody, um, you just highlight the email and then you click on the customer manager button and what happens is is a panel would automatically pop up and it'll show you now I've already uh, I've already set up a contact from my name so this is a bad example let me pick uh, a random one let's see Ashley Stewart and let's click on customer manager and what it does is it'll automatically take information from that email um, and pre-fill it to create a business contact so Ashley Stewart is uh, a a contact in a company called who is visiting so I'm gonna create a new company called who is visiting and I'm gonna click on create new company and now it's going to link Ashley Stewart with her email address to who is visiting I also have the ability immediately to share this contact with other people in my office 365 group um, in this case I'm not going to share this with anybody because it's a demo contact so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create so what just happened here is I created a entire uh, basically historical record uh, within the contact a whole living and breathing um, uh, record that keeps track of everything when I mean everything I mean the whole history I've ever had with Ashley Stewart you'll see here it immediately made a timeline you can see every email that came from her um, Outlook it automatically picked it up and customer manager created a timeline showing me what exactly happened yesterday, this week, last week, and so forth, uh, and categorized it very nicely. Very similar to how BCM used to be. Um, the timeline, uh, note section, and files, very similar to BCM's um, history tab. Uh, it actually really took everything in BCM and tried to apply it to this um, application. So when I went on and created this business contact, uh, we have a very nice, detailed, organized wall. Um, even shows your calendar and what you have coming up. Very easy to schedule a meeting with a person um, or adding a post to this wall. This is very good when you're collaborating with other people also. And the UI is very friendly. 
they made it very, very easy on the eyes. Um, you can add tasks if you have to do something. And previously in BCM, we used to have opportunities. If you recall, uh, an opportunity used to have a status of a one, a lost, or in progress. So for example, if I'm selling something to Ashley uh, and we have a dialogue, I have an open opportunity. So it's an open deal in progress um, until I either close the deal as one or I mark it lost. She's no longer interested. So there's zero deals right now. I just created a brand new contact and that's what this particular button does. So this is the button which creates contacts directly from your email. Now, if you want to get to the actual nitty gritty back end part, you actually have to open Outlook Customer Manager. And they didn't make it that simple. On BCM, we used to have a nice banner and a nice place to go and click on your uh, folder panel um, and it would open up. In this case, no, no, they made it hidden over here in this ellipsis under the add-in section. So here's what I recommend that you do. Um, if you right-click your uh, ribbon, click on customize this ribbon, um, go ahead and highlight the last ribbon, add a brand new tab in there, and in the group, uh, go to all commands and just take add-ins and stick it into that uh, group. It'll create a brand new tab for you with the button up here, as opposed to going down here and clicking it, you have a nice little shortcut up here in the top corner. So I'm gonna go and click on add-ins, and you'll see that it's now opening Business Contact Manager. I'm sorry, Outlook Customer Manager. I'm so used to BCM, it's not even funny. Um, and now being in uh, Outlook Customer Manager, you have a very nice dashboard. Currently, it's empty. There's nothing in here because uh, I, I haven't really worked with it much. Um, I have two companies that I've listed so far. I have uh, recent companies that I've viewed. One of them is Coca-Cola. It's a sample company. And the other one is Repticity, my company. Um, and you'll see here that in my dashboard, uh, very, very cool how they did this. They have a whole pipeline thing going on over here. Um, completely, completely changed the terminology. No longer using opportunities. Now we're using deals. So a deal is now an opportunity. There are zero deals. Now let's say I have five open deals. It will calculate the amount of revenue that I would get from those deals. And it would kind of put it into that dashboard for me. Um, let's go ahead and click on contacts. So you see here that contacts is now very, very similar to the design of Dynamics 365. You have your focused contacts, which is your recent. There's an actual uh, like algorithmish kind of uh, uh, method, a technique, which Microsoft determines um, what should go into focused. We have that in emails as well. We have a focused inbox, then we have a regular inbox. So you'll see here frequent or recent contact. All of these are recent contacts. Um, and you also have, of course, the rundown list, very similar to how BCM used to be. Um, we have a a search we have filters we can actually filter um, a company uh, by company we can add more columns to the view so if we want to add um, a particular column we can add more columns to this particular view and um, that's basically the entire uh, a context view they simplified it completely and i believe it was i actually like bcm better i think it was easier but this is what they had come up with um, so remember ashley stewart so i created her so i just click on that and there she is, she pops in over here. That same exact wall which appeared on the email panel on the right now appears here. So I can just surf through my contacts um, and you'll see here that uh, OCM will automatically scan the inbox for all the activities. So you can see emails that I had received lately um, uh, as of recent, everything is nice and organized. Um, very, very cool uh, uh, feature, um, very seamless. If we go and click on companies, you'll see here that we have um, Coca-Cola, Repticity, and who is visiting. And of course, we also have the contacts for the company, right? So this particular company um, has a uh, one contact, uh, actually two contacts, sorry, um, that are associated with this company. If you click on contacts and collapse it, you'll see who the two people are that are part of this company. And you can just click on them and kind of enter their record. So what you're looking at is a very organized way um, in Office 365 uh, in a cloud-based BCM kind of uh, style uh, to have um, all your contacts and all the people that you are working with and companies. Um, so besides contacts and companies, we also have deals. And deals is really, really interesting because um, opportunities was really the bread and butter of uh, of Business Contact Manager. So suppose I'm gonna to go to companies and I'm gonna to go to uh, who is visiting and I'm gonna use Ashley Stewart here and I'm gonna click on contacts, Ashley Stewart. And let's say I wanna have uh, some form of a deal with her. I'm gonna click on add a deal and I have zero deals associated with this particular contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new deal. Let's say, um, call it new business. 
and click on create a new deal. So now we have a brand new deal here called new business. Um, and let's save this record with the new business deal. So in deals, I have one brand new deal, new business, the stage is in progress, very similar uh, to how uh, BCM used to be. And I just received the error telling me there was a problem creating this deal. There we go. It created it. So this deal is open. Um, it didn't associate it with Ashley for some reason. So I'm going to click on the little plus here and associate it back with her. For whatever reason, there was a hiccup. Uh, and now the contact associate is Ashley Stewart. And the company that she is a part of, remember, is who is visiting. So we can associate that also with who is visiting. Um, uh, let's go back in here real quick. Let's just see this in progress. A few deal details and associated with who is visiting. And let's say the amount of this deal is going to be, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say $250. And I'm going to save it. Now, it automatically applied a close date of February 9th, which is, I believe, a week from now. Um, and under the assumption of this, this deal, the priority is normal. Um, the stage is in progress. Of course, a failure is lost. We can void it as invalid or mark it as one if we did get the uh, the deal closed. Uh, and the amount is uh, $250. Um, so you'll see here, as I'm talking, I'm relating to people who have used BCM before, because the majority of people who are waiting for this are BCM individuals. Look at the difference between how BCM is in this particular application. Um, opportunities I kind of miss opportunities to be honest <laughs> but this is the new form of the opportunity um, so with this deal just like you have a wall of communication that you can speak with uh, that you can record information about um, the person you can also record information about this deal so if this deal requires any particular notes um, or there was a meeting in specific about this deal everything is added here to this particular timeline of the deal so each and each person actually has their own unique history. And I believe that a company assumes ownership of all the histories, right? So it's every everything that took place within the context of a company is a part of that company. So that's a part of that organized um, structure that Microsoft have provided with um, Outlook Customer Manager. Um, so that's the entire deal portion. In the timeline, we have four events. We have no upcoming meetings. That's because I just created it. There's nothing going on. We just know that there's a 250 pending deal for new business could be I'm selling t-shirts so it could be a 250 t-shirts deal uh, at a buck a piece and I can write the progress of the deal here and as I'm doing the progress I can also communicate with Ashley directly so you see how I'm using um, OCM right off the bat to kind of you know organize what I'm doing with a particular contact in this sample I picked Ashley I assigned a deal to her I assigned her to a company called who is visiting we have one open deal um, on this particular date. It's due February 9th. It's February 2nd today. So we actually have seven days until uh, this deal either closes. I can extend the close date if I'd like to. Let's say this deal is going to take quite some time. Um, so I can go ahead and uh, and make the close date a different date. Um, and that's essentially it. This is what this thing does. This is how it works. This is what it's about. Um, they took away projects. They took away other things. You do have tasks in here. Uh, which is which is uh, basically the same thing that you're accustomed to in Outlook already using tasks. Um, the only beauty of this is really the sharing feature and also to be more organized because most people are not organized and not everybody has a Dynamics 365 subscription or knows how to use CRM or has someone to pay for to administer CRM and customize it. This is kind of the customizable it. This is just what it is. Um, I'm going to be creating more videos about this as it goes along. I was just very excited about creating a video showing uh, what um, it looks like. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over back to mail. And as I switch over back to mail and go back to my home tab, you'll see that I'm back. Uh, and customer manager is now hidden in the background. Um, again, I could just simply click on anything and then click on customer manager button and immediately create something out of the item that I have highlighted. Um, I can go ahead and close this. Uh, click on my new uh, folder, my new tab, um, or just from the ellipsis, go to add-ins, click on that, takes me straight to customer manager. Now you'll notice I have two customer managers on the right. That's because I have two instances, um, because two of my three accounts have already provisioned this software for. Um, very cool. I'm sure a lot of people will like this. They're going to like the fact that they're going to be able to share uh, things over the cloud. They're going to like the fact that they finally have something, again, similar to BCM. Um, 
you know, but it is something to get used to. It is different. Microsoft did a great job with the UI. Um, the user interface is very nice. It seems very, very fluid. Um, you know, it's very cool. And I hope that if you got it, set it up and kind of take a look at it, I'm going to be more com making more dedicated videos uh, in specific now. Just the way I used to create them about BCM, I'm going to be creating some videos about um, OCM and, excuse me, some of its features and what it does. Um, and that's in a nutshell what I wanted to show you guys. So this is my uh, demo machine, by the way. Um, I hope you liked the video. It's been a while since I had made one. I've been working my behind off on something uh, completely different. Uh, as a matter of fact, and give you a quick, quick, quick look of what I was working on. I'm so excited about this because this is like a, a hobby for me. It's actually a virtual operating system. See here, demo menu item. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I'm not going to walk off that, but uh, this is really um, what I wanted to show you. And I'm very excited about it. I want to thank you for watching my video. Um, and I hope you like um, Outlook Customer Manager. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for additional videos in the future. We're going to talk about what this ribbon is and how to create things directly from this ribbon. Um, everything that you can make from within Outlook is in line. Everything is connected. There's different shortcuts. Um, and we're going to be talking about that a bit too. So try it. Install it. Take it for a test run. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, and thank you for watching.